Hey future millionaires and budget babes, it's your girl Carrie, and welcome to my money tree. Here we learn to master our money through completing budgeting, savings challenges, cash stuffing envelopes, and having motivational money chats. So if this sounds like a vibe to you, please hit that subscribe button, join the family so we can grow together. So today we are going to close out our first pay period budget and we are going to budget our second pay period. So let's get right into it. I already looked on all my accounts to see what was paid and what had come out and what I received, what income. So let's go through this. This is my first paycheck um, budget breakdown. I am on a variable income. So I, when I create my paycheck budgets, I just do the estimate of what I'm expecting to earn. And then when I do my budget closeout, I'll put the actual amounts, see the differences, and then uh, any extra money, that's when I add that to either sinking funds, savings, or investments, things like that. Or I just put it in a rollover and see if there's anything else I have to pay for the next pay period. So for the first paycheck for the month of October, um, I received $9.49. That was the actual amount because I did my budget on the day that I received my check, so I knew the exact amount. My side hustle, I only received $30 because I was not able to make it as often as I was anticipating because of car troubles that I had had, and I will get into that when it comes down to expenses. Um, rollover, that was from last um, pay period, so that is the same. And then gas reimbursement, that stays the same as well. That was uh, from the last check. So, um, let me think. So my total income should all be the same except minus $30 from what this total was. So, minus 30 so the actual amount was $1,282. And then I go ahead in and make sure all my expenses were paid. Everything is on auto pay for the most part, but I just like to double check to make sure there was no issues or no glitches with any of like the pay, what are they called? The, like the auto pay systems. There has been issues before with some of my, um, utility payments and stuff like that. So I just like to go ahead in and make sure everything is good with that. Um, Mr. Cooper is my mortgage that was paid. AAA, so this comes out every other month and sometimes I forget which month it's supposed to come out so I always just budget it for it. But it was not due this month so that did not come out, that's fine. Um, Progressive came out, Pico came out, Guardian which is my life insurance came out. And PGW is $0 was owed, so that's fine as well. So this is all good. My variable expenses. So now this is when I go ahead in and I check what my daily expense tracker was. And you'll see here's my daily expense tracker for this pay period. And by accident, I filled in the second pay period one, which is fine. I'll just write a little note here. Um, first pay period in case I have to look back on my numbers, I know this goes with the, the first pay period. And then this check, I'll just use this one. Um, so we're gonna go ahead in and we're gonna add up all of our expenses for the different categories. So my variable expense category is home supplies, pets, beauty, a buffer, my kids, their allowance, and food, which is like fast food. Um, like a convenient kind of a thing. This is not for my groceries. I am on state benefits, so I don't budget for groceries because I use um, what I receive through the government. Um, so let's add all these up. So food, let's see. So we have 18 plus six plus eight plus five plus two. Plus three, plus 19, plus seven, plus 11, and that's that. So 74. 
so we budgeted 75 and I was on point with that, which is awesome because if you guys remember from my last pay period, I went over, I don't even remember, I think like 100 or almost $200 for fast food. So that's awesome. Um, let's see, next, beauty. And that was the only one. So that was 18 and I budgeted 100 so that's awesome as well and again I was having car issues so I didn't get a chance to actually go to the to Walmart and get all my home supplies and pet supplies and all so you will see um, I did not spend any on home supplies or pet supplies but I still need to go so this amount will come out um, probably this paycheck because now my car is back up and running and I'm able to get to the store so although this looks good on paper, it still is going to get spent. And let me see, what did I allot for the month? So this was for the week because I was anticipating going to the store and spending that, but I wasn't able to make it. So for the whole month, okay. So for the whole month, I only budgeted $100 and I put the whole 100 in this week because I was anticipating going. So that 100 didn't get spent this week, but it'll get spent next week. Um, and the same thing for pets. I budgeted 50 for the month. Okay. Um, beauty. And then let's see. Beauty gas. I'm not including because that um, is like a reimbursement through my job. I just like to keep track so I know what I can expect to owe on my credit cards. I put my gas expenses on my credit cards and then I pay them credit cards off with my gas reimbursement money from work. So I do that for two reasons. One, to keep track of my gas expenses and then two, to leverage my credit cards um, as leverage, to use my credit cards as leverage to increase my credit score. So that's, this is here just really for me to stay on track with that. Same thing, here's another gas expense. Um, so the next thing is kids. Um, so let's see, that's the first one is $10. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 6, 6, and 11. So 49 and I budgeted 30 so a little over budget not too bad it's actually a lot better than what I thought it was gonna be because when I initially started budgeting back in August and I had done my three-month review of my bank statements to see where my money actually was going I was blown away by the amount of money I was spending on Roblox for my kids ridiculous and also on fast food I had no idea the amount of money that was actually being spent so that's pretty good so far um, and then my buffer so I like to have a buffer or I call it like a one-time bill for things that come up that I'm not expecting and this month let's see so food gas kids business oh business Okay, I don't have that listed here because I was on a because I was on a zero based budget for this paycheck. So I didn't I like to as a low priority sinking fund have a business fund and you will see in my monthly overview I have a hundred dollars laid out because I'm trying to start my business and of course there are expenses. So let's write that in there because it was something I paid. It was $25 for a notary fee. So although I didn't plan on spending any money, I had to. Um, so that was $25. Um, so low priority. I don't want to forget that. So we'll put that there and then um, unexpected so 190 for my car battery and that was it um, oh and you know what also I just realized hold on did I not okay and this one I didn't add the category because um, technically it's for my kids but I had that under like buffer slash one-time bill 
and I don't know why I didn't put it under a category. So that was $44 plus 50. So $94. That, um, I'll put 94. And that's a one time bill. So maybe actually I should bring this uh, variable expense category back because my one time bill I used to have for, um, things that it's exactly what it sounds like. So each month there seems to be like a bill that's just for that month, whether it be for September for school supplies, October costumes, November Thanksgiving, you know, you get the drift or like one month for a birthday. Um, so yeah, this month it was for Halloween costumes and I was just assuming that was gonna be under my buffer, but now I realize I don't want to do that because my buffer is actually what I wound up spending on my car battery, which was $190. Um, so let's see how this all adds up. Um, 18 plus 190 plus 49 plus 74 plus 94. So 425. So the money was in my account and although I didn't spend it on home supplies and pets, it kind of all evened itself out because there was unexpected expenses and such. So I still was under budget. I had $450. I had $455 um, budgeted for variable expenses and I spent 425. So that's not too bad and it's Especially considering uh, I wasn't expecting my car battery to go. So let's see. Um, a firm that did come out as well. And I don't know if I spoke much about good debt and bad debt in my last video, but I have these two categories broken down because. Um, good debt, I consider debt that I use as leverage to increase my credit score or some people may use um, their credit to gain like points um, or cash back. So there's many, there's a few different ways that you can use credit um, as a good debt. And then there's bad debt, which is just money that you owe and it's just bringing your credit score down. So... I mean, I guess technically a firm really isn't even a bad debt for me because I am using that to leverage my credit, but it is what it is. Um, so that's that was paid, $15. And then um, these my, were my high priority sinking funds birthday. I put that away and my rich witch savings challenge, that $10, that was put away as well. And then, uh, let's see. So let's add all this up here. So this is the pay period breakdown. This is what I estimated all my numbers to be. And this is where we'll put the actual numbers. So, oh wow, what, what happened here? Hold on, let me see something real quick. 949 plus 30 plus... 303 was my rollover plus 297 was my gas reimbursement. Why did I get that number? I must have forgot to add the 303. So this is wrong. So it's 1579. Yeah, I just saw because when I put my estimated here, it was 1609. I thought it was 13, 1312. Um, so that's why I caught that mistake. So my actual amount was $1,579. Um, my bills, the total for my bills, um, well this all stayed the same except the $6. So let's just subtract um, $1,084.05 minus $625, which is $1,000. Um, actually, did I put the bad debt? Okay, $1,077.80. And 
And then variable expense total was 425. And um, then a firm that did come out as well. Um, my high priority sinking funds, my son's birthday, the rich witch was $10. And then I was not expecting to put um, any money towards my business this week, but that's fine because I did a lot $100 for the month. So 25 came out this week. So let's add this up and see. So actually 1,579 is the total amount and then we'll subtract all of our um, expenses and sinking funds. So 1,579 minus 1,077 and 80 cents minus 425 minus 15 minus 40, minus 25, minus 10. Why does it say negative 13? Oh, maybe because I was a little bit short on my income. Okay, well that's fine. So it says negative $13.80. Um, which isn't bad. Okay. So that's my paycheck budget closeout for the first pay period of October. So now we're going to budget for the second pay period of October. So I am paid bi-weekly and I budgeted $850 is what I was estimating from my job. But the actual amount, because I already just received the paycheck today, I know the actual amount and that was... $9.95 and then my side hustle I'm just gonna put $30 because I'm not really sure um, I'm not really sure I'd rather go a little bit under so we'll say 30 and then is there any rollover for my gas reimbursement from work I received $304, but I'm not going to write the whole $304. Let's add up to see what I spent on gas. And then I'm going to subtract that amount from the $304 because that's what I need to use to pay these uh, debts off. And then anything left over is like extra that I just get to keep in my pocket. So 48 um, gas plus 64 and I think that was it. Oh, 48 plus 64. So $112. And the, it's so low this month because I actually got a new company vehicle. So I'm not using my vehicle anymore. So this whole gas reimbursement thing is coming to an end. Um, so that's good for me because it kind of is frustrating sometimes or can get me a little confused when it comes to using my own money and then making sure that I'm reimbursed the correct amount and it, it just can seem like a lot sometimes. So I'm, I'm glad that this is coming to an end. So 112 minus 304. So 304 minus 112 is 192. So $192 is like extra that is just for me. Um, and I put that as the actual amount because that's not going to change. So let's see. 995 plus, we're just going to estimate 30 for my um, side hustle and then plus that 192. So we're estimating that this pay period, I will have $1,217. Now this is, I put these numbers in the actual amount because this is what I already actually received for this pay period. But this is what I'm estimating to receive in this upcoming week or two. And this could change depending if I make it there more than once or twice this week. Or if I don't make it at all, then the number would go down. 
Um, so for now, it's $1,217. And then let's write in what bills are coming out. So my second pay period is the 13th. So everything between the 13th and the 26th. So I have my little handy dandy monthly bill overview. So this is all my monthly bills that come out. And this was for my original little notebook um, financial planner that I created, which is like a, I think a five by eight. So it's a small little guy. And this is the new one that I created. I still have to fill in, where is it? My monthly bill tracker. So this is my guy here, this is the same thing. And then I'll be able to just flip back and forth. But I kind of like that this um, can come in and out really easily. So I don't have to keep flipping back and forth. But I haven't had time, I have to fill all this out. My monthly bill trackers, my um, expense trackers, even my debt payment trackers. I don't have much debt. I spoke about this a little bit um, in my other video. I just have like $70,000 in student loans and then I have like $1,800 that I owe to the IRS for back taxes. But other than that, I don't really have any car loans, credit card debt or anything like that. Um, so I haven't filled this out yet, but I will. And then my estimated monthly overview, the first paycheck that we just closed out. And here we are with the second one. So if you guys are interested, I will leave the link down below to these trackers that I created to my Etsy account. And you can purchase these for yourself. Um, so what do we have? Time for learning. This is a program my kids use online to um, help them with their studies. Creative Fabrica. This is um, a little app that I use to help me come up with designs for my Etsy shop. My IRS taxes, that's $30. Um, Open Sky, I'm not gonna put that. Ava which is an app that I use to um, help increase my credit score. So I pay Canva and Netflix through the Ava account and then Ava, Ava sends these to the credit viewers to show that I have a positive payment history and it helps increase your credit. Uh, and then I have Guardian, which is my life insurance, and that's $84. Um, Capital One is the another credit card that I use to leverage my credit, but I don't have anything owed right now for that. Um, Metro is my phone, and that's $70. Affirm, I believe this is for Walmart, that's $57.17. And, oh, Capital One, nothing. Liberty Mutual, that is my car insurance, or my husband's car insurance, $120.75. Adobe Premiere, that's what I use to edit my videos. So some of these expenses actually um, will be business expenses soon. So these will be separate categories. Same thing with Epidemic Sound. This is used for my videos as well. So that will be a business expense shortly. And then my water bill is 30.52. And Apple Storage. And actually, now that I'm looking, Apple Storage, I have to fix this because I actually switched to um, Google, I believe, Google Drive for all of my, what's it called? For all of my like photos and stuff as storage. So I have to look into that because I might not need that anymore. And I actually have to pay the Google, so the Google Storage. So I'll have to, I have to fix that. And then iPostal is $10 and that is for my business as well to have a business address. 
Um, I actually should just put MailChimp on here because it's only one more bill. And even though it's not, it's after the 26th, it's due on the 30th. I'd rather just have the money in there to know that that's done and over with. Um, okay, so that's done. And then my variable expenses, um, home supplies and pets. So home supplies, and again, that's going to be the $100 because I still need to get to Walmart. Pets is 50. I have to get some food and cat litter. And then I have beauty, which is, let's see, for the month I allocated 200 and I used 18. I'm just gonna, I'm, well, you know what? Let's round this to 20. So that means I have 80 left for this one. So 180 for beauty. Oh yeah, you know what? I actually am gonna need all that because I need to get my nails refilled. Cause I was just about to say, you know what? I don't even need all that. But I was thinking as far as makeup and stuff and I actually do because my nails are the most expensive. Um, buffer, let's see, what was my monthly expense for buffer? A hundred, and I already used that. Okay, so I'm not going to put anything for buffer. Let's see, let's see how that goes. Hopefully no other unexpected expenses come up. Um, kids will be another 30? Yeah, let's put 30, and then... Um, food, what was the fast food? So I think I broke that down. I did 75 last week, so let's do 75 again. And hopefully I don't spend any of that because if you watched my previous video, one of my goals for this month is to get stay more on top of um, home cooked meals and meal planning so that I don't have to see meal prep create weekly meal plans and shopping lists so that I don't have to spend money on fast food. Um, I'm in the process of doing that tonight, actually. I have half my list already created, and then tomorrow I'm going to the food store. So hopefully I don't spend that money. And then was that all of my expenses? Um, one-time bill? Well, the only one-time bill I was anticipating for this month was the costumes, and I already purchased them. So this is the only amount that I am allocating, and... Let's see what that is. 100 plus 50 plus 180 plus 30 plus 75. So 435. And then when we close this out, we'll see what the actual amounts were. We'll make sure, we'll check off to make sure everything was paid. Um, do we have any debt that is due? We did, but I don't know why I didn't write it here. I paid my capital one. I'm trying to see where it was. I paid my bills off, but I'm not even gonna write that here because I don't I don't know why I didn't write it last week. Um, it was open sky and capital one. so I transferred the money from my gas reimbursement to my separate account. And I believe on the 16th, that money will be coming out. So that's already handled. I did that last week. I didn't put it in my budget, or did I? No, and I don't know why. So I'm, I'm not gonna put anything. There's no debt or anything due for this week. Everything is good and up to date with that. Actually, the debt would be my IRS taxes, but I put this in there. So that's fine. I'm leaving it in there for now. Um, high priority sinking funds. Okay, so let's see what my monthly sinking funds are. Christmas and birthday. So I put 40 away already for the birthday. So I had I didn't have enough for Christmas for last paycheck. So this paycheck, let's see if I have enough. Christmas, I want to put 400 away. Um and then business, I wanted 100 for the month and I spent 25. So let's say I have 75 left. And that I probably would go over because I need to actually 
register my business through the state and I believe that's $150 but I'm not sure so I'm just we'll just leave the 75 see what happens with that um, savings oh yeah so last paycheck I only had enough to save for my rich witch challenge so this check let's see if I have enough to do my emergency fund so emergency and that was 165 52 week challenge is 60 and the rich witch I put 10 away last week wait R-I-T no, R-I-C-H what am I doing um, and that would be 10 this week so Christmas before I, before I put these amounts in all the spots, I want to make sure that I have enough with um, my income and that all my bills and expenses are paid, and then I'll see what I can add to here. So, 1217 minus, oh, you know what? Let's add all this up first. 48. I'm going to round up some of these numbers. Um, so, 48 plus 9 plus 30 plus, we'll put 21 plus 84. 549 and then we added all of our expenses so let's add the all right so income 1217 um, bills total would be 549 variable expenses is 435 nothing and nothing for good or bad debt and let's see if we have enough for this. So 1,217 minus 549 minus 435 equals 233. So pretty much this is what it's saying that I have to play with for my high priority sinking funds. Okay, so for Christmas, I'm going to leave this alone right now. And let's see 165 plus... 60 plus 10 is 235. Okay, and that's actually the exact amount that I need. I mean, that I have left. So the my Christmas and business, I'm just going to put um, parentheses around it and we'll come back to that. Because I know, so I didn't add this in this check, but exciting news, I received an award for through work it's called the heart award so each month when they do their monthly like monthly meeting with all the employees they award one employee that has showed exceptional work history and I guess just does an overall good job people your your car your co-workers can nominate, you know, someone that should receive the award and they win $500. And guess who received it this month? Me! Yay! So I am getting an extra $500 bonus. Um, so that'll cover that. And this actually, $475. So I didn't put it in this pay period because I didn't receive it yet. So if it takes two weeks, I don't want to already plan ahead but I know that this will be coming out so I'm not worried about it so yeah so that's what everything is looking like right now and then I will use this expense tracker so let me fix this because this is not for week one now this is for week two and then this was actually for week one so circle them and this starts, what is today's date? The, where's my calendar? This will start from the 13th when I got paid. So 10, 13. And then any transactions and money that I spend will go in this one. And then when we complete our paycheck um, closeout, we'll add up all these expenses see what everything um, equals out to and then we'll do our actual monthly overview 
So in the beginning of the month, we do our estimated overview and then what the actual numbers are. And this helps us stay on track and, you know, budget a little better, which I am getting better. I'm super proud of myself. Okay, guys, so we're actually going to cash stuff our savings challenges. I totally forgot. Let's move this over a little. So first, we're going to do our rich witch savings challenge and we are just going to put 10 in this week so if you are new to the rich witch savings challenge i created these and i have a um, free link down below in the description bar so you can print your own rich witch challenge out this was a thank you to all of my subscribers when we reached 200 subscribers um this past week or two i believe it was so super cute, but festive for Halloween. And you can save $200. Each little hat is worth $10. Oh no. And then we have the, um, this is my emergency fund. So $1,000 and we're gonna put 165 in it this week. So let's see, 150, 65, and that leaves us, I gotta update my tracker and all. Ooh. So 165, let me see. Well, first, let me fill in my little thing so I don't forget. So these are on my Etsy account. Um, I call this the Star Savings Challenge. I have like a group of them. I forget how many savings challenges are in total, but I think maybe between 15 and 30 um, savings challenges for like $6, 6 to $10. Um, but this is one of them that's included. It's a thousand dollar savings challenge and it has all different numbers So let's see we're gonna look for the 100 we're gonna fill 100 and then is there a 50? Um, no, so let's do 20 40 uh, Oh, there was a 50 right there 20 40 60 and then a five, so 165. And then I also have to create some um, better trackers. So I had 265 and then I added 165. So is this right? Let me see, 265 plus 165. So I should have $430. Let's see if that's true. If my math is math in, one, two, three, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, and 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 and 30 so yeah 430 that's so exciting 430 dollars compared to having nothing just like two months ago when i started is awesome and it's not like i don't feel like i'm putting like a lot in where i'm breaking the bank and for those of you who don't know this is prop money that i use i don't want to hold um real cash in my home so um, I just use prop money because I like to physically see. It's so exciting. Like, look at all that money. Um, and then we are doing, I'm not putting Christmas away this week. That will be next week. Uh, my 52-week savings challenge. Yes, I'm going to put 60 in this one. This is another one of the star savings challenges that comes in the little pack that I was telling you about. Uh, I don't know if I just said it, but I'll link my Etsy store down below so you can check out the different savings challenges that I have for sale. So that's $60. So let's do 30. Um, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 
now let's do a 20 and a 10. So 30, 40, 50, 60. So that's 60, 50, 60, boom. So what do we have total then? Let's update our little, oh, did I update my tracker for the other one? My star savings? No, I didn't, I have to update this. So plus 165, so that equaled 430. All right, I don't want to get this all messed up. All right, and then my star tracker, what was that? That was 60. So 60, so the total was... 45 plus 60 equals 105. So let's see if we got 105. Not 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 105. Perfect. So 105 is the total. And let's put our little tracker away. So cute. This is so fun. It's so exciting. When you first start out, not, I mean, it is exciting when you first start out, but when you actually start seeing the cash add up and your tracker is getting longer, it's like, okay, girl, I see you saving your money. Um, and birthday, I'm not adding anything this week. So that is all. So cute. I love looking at these trackers. Look how fun that is. Okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> so this is my little um, savings binder, my savings challenges for all uh, the money that I'm saving. And then these two binders are for the bills that I pay. My first pay period bills and my second pay period bills. I typically have two pay periods because I am paid bi-weekly. So I usually have two checks that I budget each month. I am order, in the process of ordering new binders um, because they're fun and I want to organize a little bit better. And I also um, am going to be ordering a surprise for when we, reach, when we reach 500 subscribers. I will be giving away probably a binder, I'm not really sure, maybe a couple savings challenges with it, um, like a physical one that I'll mail out to a subscriber that wins. But... I'm still in the works on sorting out what I want to um, give to you guys. So be on the lookout for that giveaway. So yeah, if this was helpful, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.